Hey guys, I just wanted to show you the design process before we finish up this pump, a uh, little mini pump to completion. So um, this is Fusion 360, and here are all the pump pieces. Um, we ended up using this pump piece right here. This is the propeller. Um, I made that myself. It's not good at all, but it does decent. We should have used this, but I forgot to put a hole in the bottom of it. This is the top piece. This is the... Um, I guess you'd call it, say, the snail part, because that's where the water, like, gets swooshed around by the blade. And then this is the part the motor goes in. Um, yeah, let me set the phone down for one second, sorry. Let me cut to the top so you can see the tops of everything. Uh, so this part here, the motor shaft goes through. That's where I forget to seal. So what we ended up doing for now to this poor little guy is... Um, Besides the, this entire cavity is filled with hot glue, and then that was not enough to stop the water leaks, so we put some silicone around the motor here, and we'll let that dry, and then we're going to print a back cover that goes over it, and we're going to seal it up completely into an enclosed casing, and the wires will come out these two little holes. So, yeah, um, cut to the motor doing its thing now. Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy Lost Silver Coin here, and look what I have here. The final version of my mini pump. My really, really crappy mini pump. This is a completely submergible. I haven't tested it yet. You guys are going to be the first ones to test it with me. Pump. So yeah, submergible pump. Um, I gave up on using the silicone and just started hot gluing it like a madman. Just to get it done with. And to test it out. So yeah, let me get here. I'm going to be testing with a 6 volt lead at 1.4 amp hour lead acid battery. So connect that to the negative. And we'll connect this to the positive. And then I'll go ahead and come over here and get my tube ready. Alright. Tube is in there. Okay. Pour the water back in. My bad, guys. I should have done all this prep work already, but I did not. Overfill bowl. Battery. Pump. Watch me struggle again for a second. Two hands. I really need to get some like double-sided alligator clips or something. God. Every time I plug it in, it falls. Okay. We give up on that. Let's do it manually here. Oh my god, guys. It's completely submerged. It's completely submerged. It's still going. Oh my god, guys, do you see this? Oh, my hose fell out. We got a leak. We have a leak. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, look at that water pressure. Our pump is a success. It's a success. Um, yeah, let's see here. Let's hang it upside down. No, no water's leaking out the top part. I don't think. Yeah, top part's completely bone dry. Well, I think there's a little bit. I can't really tell, but it still runs. Um, let, let's see if it still works. Not... Plugged into what? Not in water? Yep. Alright guys. Um, that is the final version of my mini pump. I hope you guys enjoyed the really crappy video quality journey. But a fully submersible pump. And um, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed me showing you the files too. Uh, I'm going to try to improve my video quality overall here. But... We'll see how that goes in future videos. Have a great one, guys. Lost Silver Coin out.